A few years back, we looked at a growing phenomenon at that time, webkins. Well, since then, it's grown into a full-fledged phenomenon. If you haven't heard of webkins, then you probably don't have an eight-year-old in your life. Webkins is a social networking site for kids. It's exploded in popularity and has achieved worldwide success. And it's a good Canadian company. It all starts with one of these, a plush toy. This is Plume. Each one of these includes a web access code on the tag when you purchase it. So what you do is you go to Webkins on the web and then you register your pet and then you have access to the Webkins world for one full year. Now the cool thing is your pet appears as your virtual friend in the world of Webkins. So Plume is Emma's oldest pet. She's had him for several years now. If we take a look here in Emma's account, there is Plume ready to play with. And if we click on My Pets, we get information about how many pets Emma has. Now, kids can have multiple pets living in the same account. Now, Emma has actually four different pets, Smooches, Joy, Wilbur, and Plume. And if we take a look, we're kind of given the status of each of them. We know if they're happy, if they're feeling loved. We see those by the happiness button and by the little love button. And if the fork one tells us if they're hungry or not. And if they're less than 100, they're somewhat hungry. And if it gets down, way down, they're very hungry. See, the kids have a responsibility for giving their pet love and making sure they're healthy and they have to go to the doctor if they're not healthy and if they're hungry they have to feed them and how they feed them is they purchase food with Webkins Cash which is the the play money in the world of Webkins and they can do different tasks and play different games to earn money then they use that money that Webkins Cash to purchase food and here Emma's bought some waffles so all we have to do because we see that Plume is a little peckish he's only 88 so we're going to drag the waffles over, drop on top of Plume, and Plume was um, yum, yum, yum. And you see she went up, or he went up, to 92, and her happiness increased too. Of course, waffles make everyone happy. Let me show you how the kids actually play in the Webkins world. If we click on things to do, we see four basic areas. An information area that gives you news about what's happening in Webkins world and answers questions if you have them. A pets area where you actually take care of your pet and play with them in your room and we'll show you more on that in a second. A fun and games area that includes an arcade with lots of fun games and when the kids play the games they actually earn that kins cash, that play money that they use to purchase food or to purchase furniture for the rooms that their pets live in. And there's also Quizzy's Corner which is educational games, all age appropriate educational games that help uh, prepare the kids for school or help them within their, within their scholastic endeavors. And then a shopping area where they can go and they can purchase food and they can purchase the fun different toys that they want to buy or the furniture they want for their pets. They play with their pets and they take care of their pets in rooms that they build and construct themselves. So they have to raise enough money to purchase a room and then they furnish the room with toys or with furniture. So here we see Plume in Plume's bedroom and actually look at Plume. See how he's dressed in the exact same clothing as we have here? That's because this clothing is actually Webkin's clothing that was given to Emma as a birthday present from one of her friends. And with the clothing came another certificate, another tag that allowed her to go into the Webkin's world and uh, enter the code. And and then her virtual pet got the same clothes as she had in real life. There's really nice integration between the virtual world and the real world the kids live in. And they have a lot of fun with that. Now the kids can furnish the rooms, they can also buy games and play games, and they can invite other friends over to play in the Webkins world. And they do that by chatting back and forth. I said this was a social networking site, so they can talk to other kids, but it's not as wide open as normal social networking. Instead of being able to actually chat by typing in and saying whatever you want, the kids have to select from a predetermined list of questions and responses. So there's no bullying, there's no intimidation, but the kids do have a chance to play with their friends, and it's usually their school friends, the friends that they have regularly that they just exchange user IDs, but they have the ability to share with their friends. You know, Webkins is a big favorite with my youngest, all of her friends, and with my niece as well. Pretty much any kid between about six years old and 12 years old is probably into Webkins. <laughs> and one other thing is happening in the Webkins world is some parents are going online at night and making kins cash for their kids. And I know a lot of parents that do that. I do. Of course, I'm way too busy for that kind of hijinks. There are several other sites in this genre. Club Penguin, for example, is a very popular site, but there are others as well. well. Webkins is one of those sites that has the potential to do a lot of good. It's entertaining, it's educational, and most importantly, it's safe. It's one of the really good things about the web. Technology is at its best when it enriches our lives rather than interferes with it. And everything we looked at today definitely fits that criteria. I love Webkins, good Canadian company, and it may be the first cuddly piece of technology ever developed, although I have been known to snuggle with my printer from time to time. That's all the time we have for the show today. Be sure to drop into our website for more information, and thank you for watching Dottotech.